for some conversation with the Chinese government because uh, I saw I saw a Chinese girl today um with her friend, and I looked and I just went free Hong Kong. He's like, yes. <laughs> they they looked like, Whoa, like oh my god. <laughs> well, yeah. no, really, Dude, Chinese people are now moving to Serbia to get the fuck away from China. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, can you fucking even blame him for that? Shit, I, I fucking would, god damn. I mean, how bad is shit when you need to move from one third world, or from one wannabe first world country to a third world country, you know? <laughs> oh, god. I mean, really, and it's not the fault so much of the people, but obviously of the government, because... You know, like, the people can't do much if they have a gun fucking pointed at their heads 24-7. You know, yeah, well, God. Yeah, if food doesn't fuck around with those fucking oh, squads. Oh, oh, bother. You said, the, you said wrong thing. It's time to go with the gulags. <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. to the it. rice fields, motherfucker. Oh, you're going to the rice fields, motherfucker. I can't do a Winnie the Pooh. I can't even conjure up his voice. I can't even. Oh, bugger. All I know is that I fucking... Have you seen what Mao... Do you remember what Mao Zedong did to the fucking Chinese? He told one billion Chinese people to start melting... Uh, to stop farming and start melting all their metal. Hundreds of million Chinese people started melting everything they had in their house. From tools, to pots and pans, to nails holding up their house. They demolished their houses to melt more iron. Everything. In the end, they produced heaps and heaps and heaps of pig iron that nobody could use. Now, hundreds of millions of Chinese people homeless because of Mao. Then he decided, oh, I know, tell every fucking Chinese person to start fucking uh, to kill pigeons to make more uh, more room for chickens. They killed all the pigeons. Big brain, big brain. All the bugs started eating all the crops. Millions and millions of Chinese people died. Oh yeah, because they there's your pigeons. there's that's, your fucking great uh, leap forward. Fucking, that's when you let an idiot control the country. He no, he knew nothing. He was a general. He was an officer in the military, not even a general. No, he was a career politician. He wasn't even in the military. He doesn't even know how to shoot a gun. He's just there to. He's just he's just there to fucking. Uh, I guess he just took the reins of power when he could. Oh well, it's like it's kind of like AOC spending three hundred hours on a haircut. She's screaming about capitalistic pigs and how this country is so greedy, and she's spending what most people make in three days on a haircut. AOC spent three hundred fucking dollars on a haircut. Damn. Yep. See, this is why I think that there's a decent reason why only upper class types uh, become politicians. Because you know what? I don't think poor people really deserve to be a part of the fucking government because they end up Damn. always like fucking AOC. The bitch didn't have any fu it didn't save any of the money uh, from from her fundraisers whatsoever. She blew it all on looking stupid and yet kind of New York hot because she's got that AOC, New York... AOC, I think, is involved in a lot of money laundering. Oh, I wouldn't fucking doubt it for a second. I mean, hey, I used to work with bar I used to work with bartenders all the time, and I still do now. Like, most bar... Like, 90% of bartenders, in, especially in America, they are fucking criminals, okay? And I fucking help you them usually the with, like, better are? ideas. The biggest was AOC a nation? bartender? Before yeah, she yeah, yeah. She's she's a fucking bartender. That's that's why I made the remark of, like, who most the biggest people. criminals are? Who are the biggest criminals? Any, and almost a lot of the fucking uh, religious figures. Churches are your best money laundering place. Oh, You want to oh, launder yeah. money? Oh, yeah. the, the church, you can launder billions billions of dollars in a fucking church. Well, that's why... Well, guys, it's time to spread the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, hallelujah, praise is, God. Looks like what we got a payday today. Money is you fucking... <laughs> in, any, in any small business... God made us rich. You fuck... You fucking... Uh, they don't have to pay tax to any... So if you want millions of dollars somewhere... 
church, billion of dollars, you hit the bank, you open up a small business or some dumb shit, right? That's where you go to fucking open small to launder billion. I had a, to a bank, and there's businesses opened on dirty money that needs to be laundered, right? You have no idea how much money is how many fucking small businesses are all on just laundered dirty money. Oh yeah, big Almost time. Everything in Croatia, Bosnia, and Serbia just off of fucking dirty money from rich Russian oligarchs and oil barons from fucking the West. Ugh, it's fucking disgusting. I had a neighbor who bought a church to just live in it, and he didn't have to pay property taxes or anything like that. And he only had to do, like, a church service once a month to qualify. Hell yeah, so that's, that's that really said, smart. I'm starting the Church of Crippled Jesus tomorrow. <laughs> we, will, we will give out free wheelchairs and mega hats, as that is the uh, uniform of the Church of Crippled Jesus. And we will talk about how taxation is theft for approximately an hour to an hour and a half every saturday see this is already my favorite church and i want to become a member immediately um i consider almost the cripple cast to be a church sermon maybe i can write <laughs> the government nice 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 all right the crippled church cast all right all right, all right. <laughs> you, you, you freaking scallywags you neanderthals Allow me to do. Uh, allow me to do my intro real quick because we've been recording for almost ten minutes now. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think we got some good B roll. Like, when's Mo gonna do the intro? Yeah, well, you know, like we were having a good little rant sesh, so you know, I was enjoying that. This is usually the stuff I'll use for my uh, my B roll intro, like. Uh, you know how Dick and them have, uh, like, the Dick Show has that little, like, opener blurb? Well, I, 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 I really like that yeah, idea. Cold oh, the cold open. Thank you. I, I really love the cold open idea. So I, that's that's really the one thing for the Dick Show I'll admit that I've actually ripped off. <laughs> you know, that he's ripped off from everybody else. But, yeah, yeah, we have a ton of great B-roll. <laughs> <clears throat> I gotta talk to Gator or something. Wasn't and... there wasn't there a cold open once where Dick just said the word "all right" and then the theme song started playing? Oh yeah, oh yeah. There, there's been like tons of like, ha, presenting, dirt, 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 and you know those are my favorite ones. Like I, I'm really just waiting for like the day that Sean falls off the wagon, and just like him and and Dick just cannot fucking keep their <laughs> eyes open or upright. And he's like, and and Dick produces the most pathetic, yeah, oh god, Man, the, sh Ow. the Sean yeah. I, I the want that. Yeah, the best yeah in the history of the show is the Sean yeah. I the haven't yeah heard from the Sean. I don't show. think I've heard the Sean yeah. Yeah, he did a yeah once for I think it was the sh I think it was the show after Road Rage Australia because it was the Sean show. Oh, cool, cool. I'll have to hear that. I, I would like to hear him uh, because like he dude. Like, the more you dig in the Sean's past, uh, well, through Dick, because he, like, I, I have, my Google Foo only goes so far with Sean, so I don't know much about the guy. He's actually the one I really, really want on the show, because I want to just talk shop with him. Not about podcasts, just about, like, you'd audio rather, You'd rather Sean than Dick? Oh, well, no, uh, I mean, I, I, I would I would love to have Dick on the show, but I also have no fucking clue what to talk about with him, because it's kind of like he talks about everything under the sun uh, on, on Twitter, and then he'll go on his podcast or someone else's, someone else's, and he'll already have talked about it, and so, like, I guess, w w what's more, what more is there to say on the subject I would talk to him about? And yada yada yada. I, I don't know. There's there. I, I went on too long with that thought. I think I think Sean should be on Joe Rogan. Oh, Sean on Joe Rogan? That would be interesting. Yeah, Joe, Rogan, Joe Rogan would just be like, "You ever do DMT?" And then Sean would do that thing with the jaw, and he'd be <laughs> like, "No, but I like Diet Coke." <laughs> 
You should totally do DMT and get in my sensory deprivation chamber that I have just right over here. Uh, Joe, uh, no, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> like, crack, crack, jaw thing. <laughs> like, dude, be him between, like, I could never watch a video with Sean and Ethan Klein from, uh, look at H3H3. Uh, because, like, the both of the, because, like, Ethan has this weird, like, thing that he fucking does with his entire face. And it fucking weirds me out. And then Sean does... I, I think this is from Born from Tinnitus, if I'm not mistaken. Because I kind of have tinnitus. And every once in a while I stretch my jaw just to quit the fucking ringing in my ear. I, so that's that's what I suspect. But I could be you completely know what wrong. It was? You know what I think it is? I thought it was Tourette's. And I kind of wanted to ask him on the show because I'm jealous of Tourette's. I would much rather have that disease than what I got now. But I didn't want to ask that on the show because I didn't want to seem like an asshole. <laughs> but Tourette's would just be the greatest thing ever, right? Because then you, could call someone, then you could call someone a cunt and then be like, oh, my bad, the Tourette's really Yeah, good. Yeah, uh, until you get the kind of Tourette's that just goes, makes you go, BING and Great then, China. and then you fucking just got you. You just look like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Puncher, hi. <laughs> or yeah, I, I'm a Levi. So you're Rick. So you're average Rick and Morty fan. <laughs> I think that's a great segue. Yeah, I was about to say, wubba lubba dub dub. Wubba lubba dub dub. All right, all right, all right. L let me do my intro because like we got off topic. We got off track again. <laughs> Okay. Ori, 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 yo. Hey guys, welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity, and today we're just... Oh, fuck. God damn it. Now I fucking got that <laughs> stupid fucking radio announcer in my head. We're like, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. Today, our special guests are Riley Brooks, Tom the OK, Hello. and Cripple Jesus. Whoa! <laughs> it's an honor to be on... Mo, 193 in the morning. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm glad that you're here, buddy. Now let's go ahead and talk about China. Yeah, what do you think about the NBA stuff? There's some crazy stuff with China and the NBA. It's absolutely crazy, and I want to touch on, I want to give you some background on Stephen Kerr a little bit. All because right. it'll make it funnier. So he's a big SJW. For those, which is why this is so funny. But for those that don't know, he was the guy that basically pushed the idea that uh, the NBA should get rid of the word team owner because it's a reference to slavery. Oh, God, that NBA guy. is my favorite sport. It's the only sport that allows me to legally buy and sell Africans. African <laughs> well, oh. yeah, and that's an old Norm MacDonald joke, too. Like, he's always made, like, a... Uh, he's always done jokes about like the team owner equal like team. You know, uh, it, it's the only time where an old uh, old man can old white man can own uh, uh, multiple black people, and, and like yeah, he, he's made that, that joke. So that right. dude just like took Norm Macdonald's joke and made it into a political statement. Uh, it's actually a law now that was passed. I don't know what team owners are called now. I don't know. What, I think it's like manager now instead of owner which is confusing as fuck because there used to be a team manager too that was a separate job so i don't even know what they call them now a uh, team super duper manager <laughs> <laughs> extra manager <laughs> extra big ass manager team, team manager xl deluxe edition oh my dear lord like i but I wanted to give some context. Team manager because... definitive edition. <laughs> team manager. Team manager is 
we got to change that right away, right? But the idea that there's a whole colony of people in China that don't have freedom, that's okay. We'll let that pass for a paycheck. And he basically said, when he was confronted by a reporter, he basically said, yeah, um, when I go to China, they don't ask us about mass shootings that happen over here. It's like, okay, bitch, you you didn't listen to her question. Her question yeah, was... Yeah, I, I think I've seen the that clip. That dude licks some serious Chinese boots. Oh, for sure, man. And now they're um, actually... Look, I don't give a fuck what they don't do in their fucking country. Having a school shooting here isn't it the same as oppressing millions. Yeah, yeah exactly. not not even the fucking same fucking sport. Like no pun Just intended. Answer the fucking question, you bootleg. And now they're um, he took it a step further. Now your reporters are not allowed to ask questions about China. They'll just get kicked out. Yeah, I, I saw the one dude uh, try to grab the the microphone from the lady. And she's she's a news reporter, and, and the dude uh, the dude says, well, you know, there is a lot of other stuff that America hasn't really answered for at all. Like, dude, all uh, you know what I want? I want to hear them just like I want them to have a flag, like to fl uh, have our flag, and then the Chinese's flag uh, posted want... right next to them. And I'll just ask them to say, all right, say your Pledge of Allegiance. And I want to emphasize a little. I want to emphasize the your part. And I want to see which flag they fucking pick. What's funny, right, is that LeBron is going to take a knee for the American National Anthem. But when the Chinese Anthem comes on, they're all going to be whipped. And they're going to be forced to just prop up like the Manchurian Candidate movie. Oh, well, with with all of their fucking progressive friends just clapping away, going, we just should capitalism. We're finally free now. And like, no, no, no. I, I don't. I think see, you think you're wrong. I want to see a millennial at a fucking at a communist fucking breadline. Like, I want to see them oh. there. Like, what? No gluten free. No gluten free options. Like, I want to see their dumb asses, their pampered little asses, fucking realizing that. No, you're not getting another loaf of bread, motherfucker. Get back in line. Oh, I wasn't sure if it was a Stereos or another comedian that was talking about their friends going on a trip to Cuba, right? And the 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 people who were going. That was Sean. Oh, who? That was Sean. Oh, that was Sean. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then you know what I'm talking about, then. Yeah, uh, you get rations. You don't get. Yeah, and you don't get. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. fucking activist, fucking white bitch, basic bitch, was fucking saying, "Well, where's the gluten-free options?" And the fucking tourist guy just like bursts out laughing straight in front of her face, like, "We don't have that here." And she probably, <laughs> and he probably stopped at, "You stupid white bitch," he, you know, and didn't add that part, Did but that was definitely in his head. That she would get what she wanted in a communist country. No. Fucking stupid Honey. cunts. Honey, the, you don't live. The state doesn't exist for you. You exist for the state. And they don't. They they will feed you as long as you can live off of. It. They don't give a shit if you're healthy or not. You're gonna be working. You're a cog in the machine. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah. You're not uh, given freedom to do what you want. You're doing what they tell you to do. Oh, exactly. If you don't have a job, you're digging ditches. If you can't dig ditches, you're gonna do something else. They don't give a fuck if you're crippled. You will be doing things. Oh, dude, yeah. Ch uh, one of the big staples in Chinese communism is you do your life does not matter. Uh, this is why you know this is why they have such like weird fucking uh, 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 not to sound like a libtard or anything, but weird fucking uh, uh, sexism. Uh, problems when it comes to uh, little girls and stuff because uh, there was like a couple of years there was like a year or so ago where someone ran over a little girl and then just backed up on her and ran over her again and again and again and the fucking people just sat there around go eh, and went back to their jobs and stuff like you they're really fucked up in the head over there i watched i watched the video in china where two kids just fucking stabbed the shit out of each oh shit. Oh, I've, I've been called for a fucking video game, but I'm just going to finish up this. The two kids stabbed the shit out of each other. Like, in broad daylight, on in the middle of a Chinese city, somewhere in, like, a smaller Chinese town. 
one kid pushes the other the one kid puts down a yellow bag a plastic bag pulls out a bowie knife stabs the shit out of the kid nobody flinches they're like yeah all right and then just keep on walking and the kid doesn't even like oh my god i killed someone he just puts the knife back in the bag it doesn't even wipe it just goes all right and walks off back to where the fuck he was going almost as though they just saw that kid get stabbed like oh my god free food today it's disgusting i got those people are in fucked in the head if they fucking like living there like for real oh yeah no totally We're for real some human veal tonight boys oh it's, it's fucking just dis- fucking burger yeah it's fucking disgusting I'll like the, right the, the, the all right i mean i got it Sorry. all right no problem no problem <laughs> yeah. no problem man you know after tom told that story i think uh our buddy OJ would love to live there. He should think about getting a condo complex in China. Well, you, you, Jesus. <laughs> you with the fucking OJ jokes. Uh, <laughs> all right, hold on one sec. Let's just have a, like a quick minute, a, a second of silence here so I can... I'll tell you in a minute. All right, good, good, good. Uh, I, I needed some like space for a second for when I... Uh, as soon as I do the... Uh, the noise suppression and stuff, I'll have a noise profile. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I should have done that way earlier, but I just, like, I finally got a word in after Tom was talking, but not that that was bad. Yeah, you uh, still want to do, you still want to get into the NBA, because I have a little bit more. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, 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 we, we kind of all got off a of track, but, uh, like, let me go ahead and fin- like, let me go ahead and say what I, what I wanted to say. Uh, like after Tom was talking about that story, like I know Americans have this weird f- uh, just fascination with just looking at their phones when someone say in New York falls on the fucking subway train tracks, and they all just stare at her, uh, stare at the person, and they just record her death, right? But uh, the difference between that happening in China and that happening in here is no one in China seems to ever be outraged by that and when we find that out in this country the outrage the backlash against that is fucking massive uh, it really does show yeah, that we way. really do have more of a fucking consciousness in our heart than uh, that capitalists once again uh, uh, is better than communism in yet another way. Much, yeah, much more um, compassionate. I I think once these uh, bitches over here that are repping for communism realize that they don't have five dollar lattes in China, I think they're just gonna stop that immediately. Oh, dude, I, I I'm a, a big proponent of grabbing people like AOC, Bernie fucking Sanders, and every goddamn communist sympathizer in this fucking goddamn country, and just shoving them uh, unannounced into half in Cuba and half in China, uh, you, you know, and, and just fucking delete their goddamn passport information so they're detained at our embassies and checkpoints and stuff, and go, nope. You're officially communist now. We'll be back in five years to ask you what you've learned. And, yeah, you know, well. that's the, like, let's see how, how fond you are of your little system that you fantasize about being under so much. Anyway. Man, I, was, I was big on Bernie in 2016 when I was there. Me too, me too. That, that was my preferred choice because it was either him or fucking Hillary. I mean, I never thought that reality TV star Donald Trump was ever going to fucking be president, but I started oh, seeing... Awesome. Oh, dude, I, I've seen the... Like, literally, the polls they had shown us in school... Cause were, like, were total bullshit. My, they, they were, not they? In my history class, we were following the election, and they were showing us the polls and how ahead Hillary was, and Basically, we all went. We had a big election night party where we ate like fucking chicken parmesan and watched the election. And we basically all came to the Hillary's gonna win party, and then Trump won, and we were all so shocked. Oh man! Oh dude! Like, ah, uh, hold, hold on a sec. Like, he, he, <laughs> oh man! I love the 2016 election. It's my favorite fucking oh, thing, God. like ever. Be- just because. Just because, like the, the the fucking shocks and the just shock looks on everyone's faces, it was better than all the sobbing and upset looks and down and bummer bro looks than 
that were on Fox News when Obama was elected for the first time because I enjoyed the hell out of that too because oh, that uh, was great. oh yeah because I, I, I live to see the fucking establishment disappointed and upset you know all the Mormon suicide hotlines were just ringing off the chain right after Obama got elected that shit was that shit was hilarious but what I want to say what was so great about the 2016 election is like Trump is like Rocky and Rocky too, and Hillary was like Apollo Creed. Everybody thought because uh, in Rocky one, Apollo beat the shit out of Rocky. Everybody by, thought no, nah, no, nah, that that was by split decision though. It was a close it was one. By split decision. Yeah, I, I, I watched the movie recently, number one and two. They're 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 still two of my favorite movies to this day. Oh, they're great. Yeah, um, I've been. I've been wanting to ro- watch Rocky. I'll probably do it for my movie review podcast at some point if I can get somebody to guess. Rocky Three with uh, Clubber Lane. That shit is great, oh, too. Oh, yeah, it was like, pain. <laughs> uh, but, oh, yeah, yeah, but, Riley, uh, dude, you're definitely in for a treat uh, with, with the Rocky movies. And I'm sure that me and Cripple Jesus would, uh, like, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Cripple Jesus would love to go, come on your show for that. Absolutely. Ooh, man. Oh, dude, yeah, you know, I'm fucking down too, man. We'll be your guests. Yeah, let's but, let's uh, watch Rocky and review it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. I was going to tell my election story, so my mother was so sure that Donald Trump would lose because that's what all the polls said, right? You go to Google, you go to CNN, you go to New York Times, it all said the same thing. Uh, you might, like uh, you mind if I interrupt real quick? Because I want to yeah. add to your point. You know what the fucked up part about those polls is? I started seeing cracks in the facade of the polls when Ann Coulter, way at the beginning of the fucking cycle, uh, when uh, Trump was finally getting a little bit established, she called it right on the fucking she called it uh, right there on the uh, the real time with Bill Maher and everyone yeah. fucking laughed at her but she was totally 100% right and uh, uh, all about the polls now my bad for interrupting you go ahead oh um so my mom was so sure because of the polls that Trump would never be president right so i um I bet her, I say, I will bet you a hundred dollars and Donald Trump will be Hillary Clinton. And she said, no, no way. And I wake up in the morning and my dad was in the house at the time. And he just says, uh, Trump won. And I have the most fucking evilest laugh and chinning and grin on my face. Oh, and it was I- fucking funny, wasn't it? Oh uh, yeah, I roll out to the, I roll out to my kitchen and I see my mother crying and she just hands me a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never actively like paid attention to politics and the reasons why things happen. So like, the most insight I've ever heard about. Hillary losing the election was in a fucking Monkey Jones Let's Play. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> and um, it was um, talking about how Hillary would have won, but like, didn't some sort of controversy like come into full swing like right well, before the election? Well, like over and Hillary? over. Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, the uh, yeah, everything. Oh, like e- everything, man. Like fucking uh, the bitch could not go one week without some shitty fucking controversy. Like uh, personally, even if they like, weren't sh- like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Like, right be- okay. Like if like even if the controversies aren't true, my trust in you as a candidate is now fucking compromised and undermined because. You know, I don't know what you say that this is all a right wing conspiracy theory, but this one in particular keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then you have all the other little ones that seem to have led up to this one gigantic controversy. And that's that's my fucked. favorite. One, my favorite one wasn't even because they harped on the emails a lot in the um, election cycle. But my favorite one was when Trump said at a rally that Hillary doesn't look healthy, and 
CNN was saying this is an all right smear campaign and Donald Trump is full of shit. She and shit her pants. She shit her pants once. That's fucking great. Well, yeah, you can. I was gonna say she shit her pants, and you, in her rally in uh, Portland, Oregon, I believe, you can literally see her Secret Service agent carry her into the car like a fucking baby and her shoes are falling off yeah 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 dude that's that that's happened multiple times man like there's too many fucking old people in politics i'm sorry but there really needs to be a cutoff at 65 where you can run there needs to be a maximum age president dying in the middle of their term yeah you know it, of old age. yeah but well, what's that say about our country when we can't even get someone in their 50s like uh, the reason why i i did like obama in in some aspects was because like i had no fear that one he was going to die because of i'm old my heart you know and two because he fucking was around at least to absorb uh the the culture of the day you know what i mean you like i i know for a fact that he understands technology and that he's not ignorant like fucking trump's stupid ass is on the fucking subject and i like and, and fucking george w bush in in fucking w's uh dumbass oh, didn't love- fucking know what he was doing with technology either w, w- like a hope to like rich retards everywhere that you can do anything you want you know yeah yeah he is kind of tarted and and, you know like looking at looking at w he's kind of like you feel a little bad for making fun of him back in the day because now he's coming to goes hey guys what's going on you know i was the president of the united states but enough about that i got some fucking sniper scope in the back and a whole bong full of fucking great fucking sticky icky y'all want to go chill i'm like well oh fuck i wish he was like this like about 15 years ago (laughs) you know like now you feel bad because he's cool (laughs) let me tell you what george bush is to the politicals Escape, all right? So George Bush is like, you know at that football game when your kid was, when the kid with Down syndrome like has the courage to ask out the cheerleader mm-hmm. and the cheerleader goes along with it, but you know they're not going to fuck, but you're like, oh, that's nice. Look at that kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's the hot chick trying to get social clout. Uh, you know, exactly. <laughs> Um, I just, my favorite George Bush moment was, it was right after 9-11, and then we're like, oh, what do you think about this horrible tragedy where all these people died, and he's on a golf course, and he just goes, watch this shot, and then he... (laughs) Oh my god. It's the best. Yeah, he it's fucking slices it. But, um, that, um, I was going to say something about the Chinese. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we got off way off topic. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, uh, uh, so you were talking about the, you were trying to talk about the Chinese in the NBA, and we got, uh, distracted because of the fucking boot liquor. Uh, that that just went. Oh, blah, they don't ever ask us. Like you know, America has problems too, guys. Yeah. Fuck uh, you, dude. Um, All right, you're not, American. You fucking eat those problems and you fuck yourself. Yeah, All right, you yeah. remain loyal. <laughs> you you remain loyal to your fucking country. If you want to be loyal to someone else, dude, I'll gl- raise my taxes to fucking like fund a program to send all these motherfuckers with passports, one way in th- one way plane tickets and temporary passports to get you to, to the country. You know, send them to Greenland, send them to Cuba, send them to North Korea, send them to fucking China, send them to their other fucking their country of preference. Get them the fuck out of here. Because you know, uh, we... I would love to. I would love to imagine just, there's like a whole like vehicle, like a black van for white girls, right? And they just get their their uh, dog and their Michael Kors purse. They just get it torn from them by like a North Korean guard with like a gu- with like a AR-15 and like. He's got the helmet on. Like, that would be so funny to me. I would absolutely pay for that. 
Dude, it, 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 it's like these people really do think that, uh, uh, well, like going to Overwatch and shit, that, that I, ironically, a Blizzard game that I'll talk about here in a little bit, but it's like they think that this, uh, ch that this, uh, 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 communist amalgamation of, of of mercy tolerance and liberal understanding is going to like come through the fucking sunlight to help them up in their time of dire need against the the evil machine of capitalism while they have their apple ma their apple fucking laptops and fucking starbucks fucking frappuccinos in both hands going i can't stand this communist system We'll help you. And then the next scene is them just getting the fucking shit beat out of him in a forced labor camp. He's like, well, the yeah. communism, faggot. <laughs> it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like rehab. Fucking idiots. Uh, communism. I'm sorry, Go. you kind of cut off there. Oh, I said it's gonna be like rehab, but for socialists and communists. You know, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if it would even be either one of those because I think they're so far down the rabbit hole. Uh, the, the one th the, the one of the biggest drawbacks from, from being an atheist and having atheism as a more prevalent uh, uh, ideology in any country is you start to like see people not being able to handle that atheism and that humanist way of thinking they just get rid of all the morals and stuff that like as shitty as religion is that we we have gotten better moral code because of religion because there's no go to, there's no such thing as an atheist piece but um uh da 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 da, da. It, it's like they they the they they call themselves atheists and got rid of religion but they made a brand new religion and they they just don't the they still worship God, but God is the state, and so yeah. they're still very religious. And I think I I think they're only uh, I think they're atheists and you know fashion statements and names only, because like you can't be an atheist with addendums, uh, with with uh, uh, caveats with the with uh, with with well actuallys in there, because if you have any of those, you're just an apologist for religion. In general, well, when you—I don't know if you know—but the actual pledge to the Communist Party is one tidbit they have in there is that the party is more important than the individual. You have to say that when you swear to the yeah. Communist Party. So yeah, like you—you yeah. you, you yeah. have no value. You are—you as an individual, your 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 head is barely worth a, 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 a fucking the cost it would make to make it a doorstop. You know, they they really have. There is no humanity in a communist system. Go ask the Cubans. It's affecting America now because with the whole NBA thing, they want to be silent on China and act like the communist. It's basically like uh, everybody's starving there, right? It's like poverty and hunger. They don't want to recognize all that. And these guys that were at a uh, Warriors game, they were at a Golden State Warriors game in California. I I, I see got, I seen this. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, they got kicked out for a free Hong Kong side. during so our people. national anthem of all things. Yeah, it was way more controversial. Yeah, there's no such thing as being con as as being you know, there there it's it's not a controversial act to be for freedom. Uh, so these motherfuckers, I, um, dude, I think we might need a fucking civil war, man. I I think we might have to have a purge. Uh, well, th this is getting I'm way too out of hand. This is not supposed to happen. The last thing I want to say is I want to encourage. Uh, everybody to boycott the nba because i like uh capitalism a lot more than i like basketball yeah somehow uh, you know a bread line doesn't really seem to scream out economic equality to me well then again i think i might be totally wrong on that because technically it would be a total economic equality because now everyone will be equally poor but really, <laughs> so so maybe I just contradicted myself, huh? Maybe I am a communist. Shit. 
Really, what we have to do is... Maybe we, I am something. We have to get this message out to the basketball Americans because I know they're the primary audience for the NBA. So every basketball American... <laughs> it's the wins. official NBA podcast. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah. Didn't I, t- didn't I announce that at the beginning? We're officially sponsored by the NBA and Blizzard? <laughs> We love you, China. Yeah. You're great. We love you, China. Pinchar, 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 Pinchar. <laughs> Communism, Tegrity Weed. Pinchar, Pinchar, Pinchar. You can't see right now, but I actually have a communist flag on the back of my chair. No, I believe it. I also want to add that uh, President Singh does not look like Winnie the Pooh at all. I don't know why people are saying that. I I mean I, I don't I don't understand why like I mean just because he has a fat belly and a fat stupid looking face and he has that stupid fucking smile and his stupid fucking face, I, I can't really see the resemblance of, of that at all. But anyway, uh, do you have anything else you want to say on the NBA, man? Anything else like no, that I, we might have missed? Is um. Any basketball Americans listening to this podcast, it is up to you to boycott the NBA because if I do it as a white man, it's not going to hurt them. It's not going to hurt their pockets. So every basketball American that listens to the MoCast, I encourage you to boycott the NBA. Fuck the NBA. Uh, like, seriously, like, a, that the, the idea that you can still, you can be, uh, labeled a, a controversial provocateur or standing up for freedom during the national our national anthem in America uh, that that's something I want to go to fucking war over dude oh I know I don't know if California is considered America anymore but it's still a shocker to see man dude I, I think this is what we need to uh, 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 rip a freaking hole in the timelines and go to where uh you know dr doofenshmirtz from fucking uh uh phineas and ferb uh uh dr robotnik and other and 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 any other like crazy fucking uh uh uh, mad scientist types we need to all like just we need to forgive them of their past crimes give them like infinity billion dollars uh, to construct <laughs> uh, to uh, construct an earthquake machine that we can fucking aim. The the earthquake in yeah, the, the, the commie destabilizer nator. And just aim it at the fucking San Andreas fault line. Perry, and just... Perry the communist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, like the, the, like that that fucking state needs to go. California what? needs to get the fuck out of here. Well, you heard it here, Joseph Mangoy. Uh, Mo wants to bring you back alive so we can take over California. So let's get it. <laughs> the fucking theme is stone uh, is uh, Skull Crusher Mountain. <laughs> who is that by? Fuck. I'll, I'll edit this fucking part out. Like, but who the hell was it? Well, you want John, to yeah, John it. Coltrane. Yeah, John Coltrane's Skull Crusher Mountain uh, will be the theme for when all of our mad scientists make the earthquake machine. <laughs> you want to talk about Blizzard, right? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm just getting angrier and angrier every fucking second that I that that it, every second that it comes to my turn to talking about this because man Pete guys I've been so fucking pissed like all fucking week like well 48 hours man maybe it's uh, what was it the 8th 9th 10th 11th so like a 24 48 what is it uh 72 hours by now what is it 72 hours now like that's three days and yeah. I mean the reason why I, I referenced the time in this because where we were 72 hours ago was a much different fucking landscape like if you were a gamer or if you like a, a it was a week later uh that like when, when did the uh, nba stuff happen what was that the week before too um so the nba stuff probably broke out 
before, before Blizzard. I think it was the week before all the Blizzard stuff happened. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I like I, I asked so I can have like a point of reference for time. So let's just round it up to say two weeks. Two weeks ago, we had a different landscape as far as the circus was considered. What was uh, considered, you know, in our uh, bread and circus. Uh, society that we live in you know the circus is something that we consider very sacred right because the last thing that I want in my escapism is more reality uh, I don't want you know as much of a capitalist as I am I don't want to hear capitalist propaganda constantly in my stuff I want to hear hey my schnozberries doubled in freaking doubled in size and now we we can all eat off them forever. Well, no, that's communist propaganda now, isn't it? Free food for everybody. You, yeah, you know what? No. Okay, just, just, just we, we just need to disregard my stupid fucking like a uh, my, my my failed uh, analogies here and just kind of cut straight to the point. Uh, two weeks ago, we we lived in a different landscape and we we really did think uh, that everything was well. It wasn't okay, but. At least it's tolerable right now, right? And a lot of us have been hip and been privy to uh, 10 cents existence and all that. Uh, if you play Riot Games, like, guess what? You're a fucking communist freaking tool. Uh, because Riot Games is almost, almost exclusively, or I think it's 100% owned by 10 cent and is the Chinese fucking company, right? And the, the, that's the fucked part. Uh, like, we really didn't know up until, like, kind of since the NBA and South Park episode happened, how deep uh, Chinese censorship really is uh, entrenched in, into our entertainment, you know? Oh, yeah, you know how, uh, how much Hollywood is an ally for... Big time, the like Razor Fist has done a great couple of videos, uh, or a great series detailing like the the quote unquote Red Menace scare. Like he he has a title that pops and is very eye catching. Uh, I don't remember what it is, but his videos on the subject of uh, uh, Hollywood is redder than fucking Chinese fucking red uh, is fucking true. But anyway, go ahead. Well, what, what's hilarious is how much of a hypocrite they are because they like to pretend that they're an ally of gays and trans and whatever except in a country where it's legal to kill those people they're basically bending the knee to that country to make money yeah and, and what's fucking crazy to to add to your uh basketball american or uh like black folks like let me talk directly to you okay like the, the Chinese communists, since like most of you are probably watching the NBA and not so much playing Hearthstone like I am, uh, but uh, the, the the Chinese do not like black people. Ask John Boyega from the La from the new Star Wars movies what uh, the, the Chinese thinks about black people, man, because they took his image and shrank him down to as little as they possibly could because I'm sure China, uh, uh, Hollywood said, no, he's one of our main characters. You you can't just have him like completely stuffed or erased. So they made him as, uh, as small as they were able to get away with and they put him, they stuffed him in the background away from all the other main characters and they also nuked a lot of the, uh, the language of rising up against your oppressors and all that but that's that's something completely different but seriously like i'm sure john boyega has a fucking opinion on on, on what obama black people said, you know when obama went over to china they were throwing trash at him and shit i think he got shot at twice and he was just there oh for... god i didn't yeah, hear i didn't hear anything about that so Obama, I think he, it was something to do with Netflix where he talked about it. I think it was when he talked to David Letterman. But he was saying the security detail out of all places, it was most expensive in China because people were just trying to kill him constantly. Yeah, because one, he's black, two, he's an American, and he's a, three, he's a black American. It, it's kind of like you showing up in a Boy George outfit at a Klan rally, you know? 
Yeah, uh, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, so this is what I have to really just uh, rant about. And for the sake of everything, and it makes me feel like physically ill for doing this, I'm going to use an article from CNET.com. I know, but, but it's kind of... It, it's we got some it, stats for you on the mocap. Yeah, it, it, it's, the, it's the best TLDR of the situation that I have. Because, like, not only have I done fucking a, a couple of YouTube videos about it, but everyone else has uh, done videos about it, too. Like, a, uh, the quartering... These videos have kind of been hard to watch just because I think they're badly made. But Young Ye and Heel vs. Babyface have done much, much better uh, at, at, at doing those videos. It's just, it's just with Jeremy from The Quartering. Like, I get stoned a lot when I, I, I before I make YouTube videos. And, like, most of the time, like, they're pretty funny, but I'll stop when they're not funny and, and stop getting high so much. I think the quartering is just taking huge dabs and forgetting that he took a dab. So, like, when, when he turns the camera, he's like, Hey, what's going on, everybody? Like, I think for a second he forgot he was doing a video. And he's always got that surprised, Oh, shit, I got caught while I'm high look on his face. Or he'll, like, do the, the, the two big hands on his forehead and go, Wow, man. And, like, he kind of yeah, did that painting is how i'm gonna have to watch those it, it is a little funny but it is a little annoying when i'm trying to get into like serious mode <laughs> because it's sort of it's like you know i got beat up by a tranny or like really just a dude in a dress because then the dude never wore a dress again uh but yeah blah 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 yeah <laughs> He got fucking beat by a dude in a dress at some fucking, like, a, a, a board game convention. And, God, I, 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 that's so fucking funny. But, but, anyway, anyway, that's a topic for another day. I'll probably edit that little part out. I don't need to start fucking throwing shit. Anyway, Blizzard Hearthstone and the Hong Kong protests. What you need to know. I'm just going to sort of paraphrase everything because I don't need to read every single tiny little thing. So first off, this this is how it started for us gamers. Am I right? Uh, Hong Kong Hearthstone player Blitz Chung HS calls for liberation of his country in post-game interview. The, uh, the thing that he got, his reward, was to be completely banned from Hearthstone for a year, ineligible to compete in any other Hearthstone-related activities and tournaments, and they fucking took every dime of his prize money that he's earned this year because of it. Not only only oh, wow. not only did they fire did they uh, ban him but they fired the two casters that d had nothing really to even do with it because they fucking i i like they're they're all talking to, i think it's uh i think it's chinese or cantonese or something uh but i they might be i think the, the two casters are korean like because i don't know why that's constantly uh referenced but I feel like I need to include that so our uh, point of references are, are more accurate, even though I think that's weird. Um, it seems like they are all just fucking goofing off, and they are joking and having fun. And then he, uh, he said, hey, uh, liberate Hong Kong revolution for our time. And that's what got him fucking banned. And they fucking duck under the uh, the desk because, you know, of course you're not supposed to say big political stuff in, in the middle of a fucking thing. They're like, oh, God, oh, God. Like, at worst, they should have, like, you know, bitch slapped him for a month over it, wagged their fucking fingers, and he probably would have gave some generic apology. And that could have been it, right? But they banned the dude for a full-on year and they fire both the casters that had really nothing to do with it nor were they setting him up for such a, a, a fucking word uh, was a, such a, 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 a exclamation right and so all they got to do all they got to do is give president Zing some honey <laughs> oh bother Make sure, make sure Eeyore doesn't bother him. <laughs> I'll give you some slurps. I'll give you some, just maybe after a couple more slurps. So anyway, <laughs> F 
fucking Pooh Bear. I fucking love Winnie the Pooh. I hate to have him like associate with communist fuckwads. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, why you not? yeah. Uh, why are gamers protesting Blizzard? Oh God! Following his win during the Asia Pacific Grandmasters broadcast on October sixth, the gas mask wearing pro gamer Blitzchunk. God, they they really do need to get somebody that can write better. And it, since you're writing towards gamers, maybe you can you can write in sort of like a language that doesn't sound a little bit condescending, because really this. This almost borders on exec you speak, like you're you're you don't give a shit well, about what out. you don't give a shit about what I the casual reader uh, uh, can comprehend. But it seems like this was written by a bunch of suits, and they're trying to in a really really expensive way to tell their other friends in in suits uh, what they think of the whole thing. And it's all encoded execu speak. You, you know what I mean? It's like the military language, except for executives and other fucking Wall Street crooks. Uh, we need gamer talent. writers, man. Well, well we're not allowed in, in in our industry. We're not. Like, even if we are chicks with huge... Oh, God. If we are hot chicks in, in the gaming industry, <laughs> you, you're, you're even more discriminated against because first you have the fucking weirdo butter smelling fucking like neck beards uh trying to fucking butter smelling s oh yeah like they fucking smell like stinky butter like like it, it's like I butter know. like it, it's like because cheese sort of has a more distinct smell but that is on the stinky neck beard spectrum because i have been most of the spectrum in my life I don't think Riley I didn't don't. know there was a spectrum for stinky neck beard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, like, you know, your average one is, like, okay, I haven't showered in a couple of days. I should probably go shower. Not a big deal. Fairly normal. Then there's the I haven't showered in a week, and I can smell my nuts from over here. Meh. I'm going to play Counter-Strike. And then it just gets... They finally do shower. Like, every spectrum has a usual, like, once a week, at least, uh, a shower. Uh, ratio until you start getting into the uh, uh, dib from uh, the invader sim enter the florpus territory where you don't shower for like weeks and weeks and weeks at a time and you become this gross fucking amalgamation of failure virginity and just uh, just sadness yeah, that's 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 the peak uh, neck beard right well, there did pretty well, but I don't think. So Riley, that's me then. Just it's just me. Riley, I don't think he knows what the smell is. So imagine, you know that movie popcorn butter that you can get at the movies. Yes. Just imagine that somebody bathed in that, and they haven't put on deodorant, and it's like imagine that movie butter popcorn with the musk and B.O. that comes out of your armpits. It's like that mixed together, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I would never, I would never do that. My legs are already crippled. I don't need to cripple. Do those my... conventions really smell that bad? Oh, I think your brony con smells that bad. I'm just saying generally. Yeah, you're totally right, though. Yeah, I always hear people getting sick after conventions. Yeah, it's and fucking so really Nacho disgusting. And was telling me that there's, at BronyCon specifically, there's like a rule where if you don't shower every two days, you'll get kicked out. Like they Yeah, have to good. Them. Ugh. Yeah, they have to remind <laughs> they have, them. They have to, to make shower. a rule just to get the bronies to shower. Dude, it, like, it, it's, exactly. it, it's the worst, apparently, for what I've heard at the brony conventions 
or like the, the the weird furry conventions and at Magic the Gathering or any card based fucking uh, 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 a convention you know like card uh, game based convention like it's apparently the worst at those two <clears throat> and they, they even started like little shops like Magic the Gathering, MTG, Yu-Gi-Oh shops, that sort of thing, hobby shops. They started putting in uh, signs in their doors that said, please come here showered with deodorant at the ready. Okay, because it's become a it's become too bad. Like it's it's not rude. Well, like it, it, it might be rude for one or two people to say something, but when almost the entirety of the fandom comes to an agreement that your ass smells too bad to be around, they aren't the problem and they're not being rude. You're the one who sucks, <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. Mo, um... My iPad is dying on me here, so I'm going to have to dip out. Uh, all right. Uh, do, you, do you have anything you want to uh, fucking hawk before you go? I will plug the um, I will plug the Cripplecast. We are going to be pulled from SoundCloud in a minute here because um, there is some big things coming up. But do not worry. We will be on iTunes through the transitional period. You can still find us on iTunes. And Google Play, and I believe Pocket Cast, whatever that is, we're on there. So just Google the Cripple Cast, you'll know where to find us. And I just want to thank Mo for having me on the show again. Hell yeah, yeah dude. I'm to binge the Cripple Cast. I think that being on this show with you has finally convinced me I'm going to sit down and listen to the Cripple Cast. Oh, dude, you're awesome. totally in for a treat, man. His show is really awesome. And hell yeah, man. Uh, good for you, dude. I'm very proud for you, man. I'm happy for you. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the new uh, changes are in store for everyone. Oh, yeah. We got everybody watch. We got something big coming up that we're cooking for you. But, uh, Mo, I got to get going. Thanks for having me on the show. Riley, it was nice to meet you, buddy. And um, I'll see y'all later. All right, man. See ya. All right, all right. Let me go ahead. I guess I'll start wrapping up on my end because I think we've all sort of uh, ranted and raved and carried on. But anyway... Following is when I think I've. Oh, go ahead. Did you just say nice to meet me? I, I've met Cripple Jesus before. We've talked before. Well, there, there's like, there's a good chance that you probably got lost in the mix, and he probably just plain yeah. forgot about you, because like, yeah, we're I'm, we're I'm all fine. in. I'm fine. I'm not mad or anything. I'm just like, I've definitely talked to Cripple Jesus. <laughs> Shit, I, I hate it when that happens because you feel like the asshole. <laughs> But anyway, uh, all right, so let me go ahead and finish up this uh, this little bit of the article here. Following his win during the Asian Pacific Grandmasters broadcast on October the 6th, the gas mask wearing pro gamer Blitz Chung ugh, uh, said a phrase used by Hong Kong protesters, liberate Hong Kong revolution of our age on October 8th. Uh, on October 8th, Blizzard said Blitzchung violated the competition's official rules, uh, resulting in his removal from the Grandmasters tournament and a 12-month ban from other events. You know, I have to think to myself, and I just want to ask this out loud, but if Blitzchung said something like orange man bad, hashtag female, pre the future is female, or, or some fucking stupid shit like that, I wonder if the hammer would have come down so hard, you know, because like I know because they're not in America's pants, they're in China's pants. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe it's not the bottom line that they're uh, uh, worried about so much. Maybe it really isn't the fact that and this was pointed out to me, thanks to uh, Ben Garrison did nothing wrong and Tom the Terrible. Uh, they pointed out to me that they're sucking up mostly to China because they the Chinese do make the the bulk of the World of Warcraft subscription based because one it's uh, it's not subscription based it's based on game time and two all the China all of the Chinese gold farmers uh, uh, Blizzard needs to be asked the hard question how much do you actually rely on the uh black market gold rac racketeering on the uh, uh in-game gold black market racketeering racket you know or let me let me rephrase that uh 
How much do you rely on Chinese gold farming? There we go. That that sounds better. You know, they need to be asked that because it, it's because that the Chinese uh, gold farmers are uh, playing the game so much and they're spending so much money that they do make up the the bulk of the cons the customer base the scri subscriber base for world of warcraft and other than uh other than uh, uh, uh star starcraft and starcraft 2 esports world of warcraft and starcraft are kind of the only things that are even propping up that entire company because if they try to do it if they tried to stand on their own two legs with overwatch one of my favorite games of all time i i, I already missed playing it immediately it's only been 72 hours <coughs> oh shit <laughs> oh, just stop playing overwatch. <laughs> fuck Ugh, sorry about that Oh, yeah, 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 dude, like, Overwatch is one of my favorite fucking games, man, and I I, all, I always have that, uh, Diablo, Diablo 2, Diablo 3 on fucking Q, and, and of course, World of Warcraft, and of course, Hearthstone, because I love the shit out of, I, I am a 100% Blizzard fanboy, and this, yeah. like, it doesn't make me feel good at all to do any of this stuff, like, you know how long I've been trying to, uh, like, I, I, you know how long that vanilla douchebags and classic WoW assholes have constantly told me, oh, well, you know, everything was better in classic and when it was just starting out, who? Hmm. And they just fucking put the fucking classic cock right down their throat constantly. And it was just so aggravating <laughs> that they finally got my attention. And I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe I guess I can play just to see what the big deal is. So I dug out my fucking Christmas gift that was uh, World of Warcraft Playtime. It's just a couple of months. No big deal. Just like a fun $20, $30 gift. And uh, uh, I was ready to play it. But through just plain laziness i never got around to redeeming the fucking ticket and now this shit happens yeah. well well fuck that i i choose ethics morality and freedom over my video games and depending on how we're going to how uh blizzcon is going to go and i don't have enough time to tell you what i want to do to blizzcon so i'd highly encourage anyone who listens oh, no. I, I, I highly encourage everyone who uh, has a Twitter account or an Instagram account to follow me at notmodiggity42 on Twitter. Is this going to be Mo's Day of Retribution? Oh, dude! When like I'll, I'll tell y'all, I'll, I'll tell you all about it off the uh, all, off uh, offline or uh, off the show because like I could potentially get in trouble for some of the things I suggest. But you know that's that's the uh, <laughs> that's my early twenties fucking anarchist inner anarchist coming out in me. This is, uh, you know, I, I, I don't listen to pussy shit like, uh, you know, I, I don't get hyped up by listening to Five Finger Death Punch, those fucking faggots. Ugh. <laughs> like, no, like, no, we, we don't listen to that. Like, we're not going to listen to, we're not listening to Korn's one fucking, we're not listening to Korn's uh, uh, song Blind and, and not listen to the rest of the records because we're a bunch of fucking meathead jocks. And we're going to be like, we're going to boycott you. Shut the fuck up, do what I want, five finger death punch, put a dick in my mouth. You know, I'm not going to do that. No, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> no, this is, this is pour the gas, light the match, burn uh, time. And for those of you who have a Twitter account, check me out at notmodiggity42 uh, because I've been banned like five or six times off of fucking Twitch or uh, uh, to Twitter. Uh, I haven't been banned at all. Uh, like I, I will know I, I did get a, uh, a a naughty no no ban uh, for thirty days off of Twitch because I I did something fucking stupid that was my fault. But yada yada yada. And if you have an Instagram account, check me out at modiggity42. And uh, I just followed you on Twitter. Cool, cool, cool. Good, good, good. Because, uh, you know, I, I've got shit to fucking say, man. It's just so much wrong with this entire situation. Uh, the, the fact that... Uh, the the fact that the, Chi the Chinese censors and, and weird Chinese sort of like cultural... Uh, <coughs> hold on. <coughs> 
I should have brought more water. The, the fact of the matter is, there seems to be too much Chinese influence in our entertainment, and it's starting to leak into little, in little ways, starting to leak into more prevalent American society, uh, uh, into uh, uh, American's way of life, you know, uh, into polite American society and all that stuff. Like, this basic white bitch in Hong Kong a few weeks ago, they, they, the Hong Kong protesters caught her on fucking camera. This is some entitled American cunt who fucking told the protesters safety is more security is more uh, is more necessary than freedom uh, safety over freedom and she didn't understand why she was opposing uh, the, the why they were opposing the communist government and she said that she was a progressive so the, the, the problem here is we have too many progressives and too many leftists in our entertainment and we need to start finding ways to systematically whittle them out of the fucking workforce and tell them to fuck off because it's it's too much at, at this point like the point for the the time for polite civil discussion is fucking over because while we're doing that the chinese are taking down our american flags and they're as we're talking and only talking they're putting up their little flags and their little propaganda their paraphernalia fucking everywhere and and also blizzard can't uh isn't a secure fucking website at all with the shit because what happened earlier this week was the the lists of the 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 teams who will be competing in the newest uh, Call of Duty uh, tournament, the 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 names, the the list of the uh, the teams that have been accepted uh, have leaked, right? And so what that essentially means is uh, they weren't going to tell all the other teams that their their practicing and stuff has been for nothing. And two, it's almost like they already pre-selected. Uh, uh, teams to be on there because they, the as far as I know how how the the scene goes is everything is supposed to be uh, down to the wire as far as like team selections are are, are, are concerned. This is just what's told from uh, of me by other like quote unquote esport professionals, and it got leaked a week in advance. Because of some bull, because because some fun lovers decided to uh, data mine uh, the rest of the shit. So that was really fucking funny. Uh, yeah. So it means like all that hard work in their practice it was going to be for nothing because they are already pre kicked out of the process. Man, that's fucked up, dude. I mean, even if you forgot all the other stuff, man, like, dude, that's highly insulting. Like, I would feel like totally. I'd feel like. I wouldn't want to play video games anymore. Like, well, what's the point? I'm not going to make it. Like, uh, the the big company has already made its decision from up on high. You know, I'm just a mo. What can I do? You know, it's 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 gotten to the point where we got to start fucking fighting back, and we got to start costing these motherfuckers time and money, because I'll never I'll, uh, right now. I'm not going to advocate for bloodshed or violence or anything uh, uh, unless I'm being targeted. You want them to bleed money, not blood. Yeah, I want them to ble bleed green, not red. <laughs> uh, strangely enough, this is also <laughs> uh, the, uh, this is about to be the Christmas season. The season is upon us. Oh. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited! I love Christmas. Oh this yeah, yeah. Great. This is this it's is my favorite. Time. It's one of the two times of the year I get money. Yeah, dude. It's, it's like three, like the only three months. Well, the only four months I care about are October, November, December, and January. And January only because one, I usually always have a good time partying on the New Year, and two, nine days after that's my official birthday. So it's kind of like, oh, awesome. yeah, so it's sort of like the new year doesn't really start for me until nine days later. And so I, I, I like that. I think the timing of my uh, existence is, you know, my, my coming into the world w was pretty cool. But anyway, uh, there was a point that I was going to make, like, 
you know, I, I could go ahead and keep going on over and over about all the stuff that we have here, but I'm going to go ahead and just wrap everything up and the TLDR of, of everything that maybe you should, you should take away from is this, right? Our country, our rules, our standards, our freedoms before everyone else's. No more fucking, no, no more will actuallys or addendums or exceptions. No, in, in the most non-racist way or, or non-weird uh, racial supremacist way, I'm going to say America first. Uh, America first before all you other motherfuckers after we're done talking about our shit and uh, 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 fiddling around with our system then you guys can have your opinions and then we're probably going to laugh at you because what are a bunch of fucking foreigners doing telling Americans what to do with their fucking country fuck off back to your shitholes anyway Riley See, you got anything to add takeaway here is, I think the takeaway here is play overwatch and watch basketball games all day give nba and blizzard all of your money yeah 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 fucking give in don't worry about th <laughs> thinking is too hard allow uh, uh, abandon your church worship the state uh, that, that's it, it's worship a blizzard yes worship worship at the altar of blizzard never question anything heil 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 and that's the end of the show Thank you, Riley Brooks, for coming on, man. <laughs> Do you have anything that you'd like to hawk? Uh, sure, I'll plug the podcast I plugged last time at RCS We Trust. I left that podcast, so I ain't on that anymore. Oh, okay, but okay. There's my YouTube channel, Riley Brooks, R-I-E-L-Y space B-R-O-O-K-S, where you can find gameplay videos along with a couple of podcasts I do, mainly Largest Issue in the Galaxy and the Riley Movie Review Podcast, which hopefully I'll get you and G Crippled Jesus on to review Rocky. Hell yeah. Alright, uh, and that's it. Do you have like a Twitter handle or anything that you want to the public to know oh, about? Oh yeah, shit. Follow me at Riley Tweets on Twitter. Riley Tweets on Twitter. Alright. Well, everyone, I think this is one of the better shows that we've had. Uh, well, it's it, I think it's our first real political uh, uh, episode that we've tried to have uh, we went off the rails a bunch of times and you know but that's the best part about it is talking about the things I that you're not quiet because I know nothing about politics oh no no problem no problem you know like your your uh, uh, your in interjections have always been really fun and really enjoyable I love it but Thank um you. Uh, yeah you know uh, I, I think this has been one of the better episodes po uh, politically speaking uh, that we've had and uh, we're going to figure out what's going to happen because BlizzCon's just three weeks away. And it's going to be a shame. If, Most day of retribution. And it's going to be a shame if some fucking fat ass with too much time on his hands and a, a, a strain of some really, really good weed uh, decides to launch something called Operation Pooh Bear, which I'll be able to tell you all all about at my Twitter account or Instagram at not mo forty two for Twitter and mo forty two for Instagram. So, thanks for coming out, everyone. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button or the follow button or whatever fucking button you're supposed to push on whatever fucking platform I'm supposed to put this shit on. And I'll see you next time. Ta ta. Bye.